about a million ten. Ralph, good to see you. Well done. You successfully did the challenge, though. So exercise and heart health, we know it's good for you, which is why as heart doctors, we're always telling our patients it's important to continue exercising. We know in the long term there are benefits, but also it improves blood pressure control, it improves cholesterol. You're great. Well done. Continue. Thank you. It is common knowledge that exercise is good for you, but how much should we do? And what should we look for when exercising? And is there such a thing as over-exercising? To answer those questions, we have with us Dr. Rohit, cardiologist from Glen Eagles. Doctor, how much exercise is recommended? The subject of exercise is regularly discussed in a cardiac clinic. Um, so normally, if someone's fit and well, has no worrying symptoms, then I normally would tell someone to exercise unrestricted to exercise as much as they would like and to um, exercise as vigorously as they would like and to challenge themselves and not feel limited. Can people with heart conditions exercise? So that's a very broad question if people with heart conditions can exercise. It really depends on what the heart condition is and there's a broad spectrum of heart conditions and what we define by that. So if people have a structural heart problem um, such as a thickened heart muscle or a problem with their valves or congenital holes um, in their heart, we're very cautious about how much exercise we encourage people to do. Now, another common heart condition that I see in my clinic is people who have suffered from a heart attack and made a good recovery, people with blockages in the arteries supplying the blood muscle to the heart. And again, we advise caution, especially in the early stages after recovering from an acute cardiac problem, such as a heart attack, we often subject people to a rehabilitation program involving staged and graded exercise before I feel confident that they can go out and exercise more unrestrictedly. Are there any warning signs to look out for when exercising? Yes, certainly there are. Um, I'll ask my patients who are thinking about exercising and how much I then encourage them that they should do is whether they have, for example, chest pain or chest discomfort in the centre or upper part of their chest, whether they get any awareness that their heart is beating fast, what we call palpitations, whether they feel any giddiness or lightheadedness when they're exercising or during the recovery period from their exercising. And indeed, if people who have exercised vigorously before and they come and see me, I often, I often ask them if they've had a history of blackouts or fainting spells. All these are worrying symptoms that deserve further cardiac investigation. So for someone like me, uh, what type of special cardiac test would you recommend? So Ralph, for someone like you who's you've told me you're generally well, you don't have any worrying symptoms, I may not suggest any tests. I may just say, well, go on and exercise and enjoy yourself. However, if you then came back and told me that you get some chest pain or giddy spells, palpitations as I mentioned, then I would recommend the basic cardiac structural screen, which is in line with what the Sports Cardiology Council recommend. So this would comprise an ECG, a transthoracic echo scan, an ultrasound scan to rule out structural heart disease, and even a specialised cardiac stress test called a cardiac pulmonary exercise test, otherwise known as a VO2 max. So if you're keen, let's go, we'll try. Yeah. Ralph, so as we mentioned before, I would recommend that anybody thinking about starting any serious or physical intense exercise undergo a specialised cardiac stress test. One of these tests is called a cardiopulmonary exercise test, which is offered in our clinic by my colleague, Dr. Peter Ting, whom you've met before. Let me introduce you again, Peter. Hello, Hello Ralph. Hello. We meet again. Thank you. Okay. So Ralph, if you're ready for the cardiopulmonary exercise test, can I just get you to get up onto the machine? Ralph, the cardiopulmonary exercise test is an enhanced version of a regular treadmill test. In addition to measuring the ECG as well as the blood pressure and heart rate, we also measure the continuous gas exchange and oxygen consumption of the patient. This allows us to assess as well as diagnose various heart as well as lung conditions. In addition, it is commonly used by athletes as well as sports enthusiasts to assess their true physical fitness level as well as help us plan their optimal training zone. So if you are ready, we can proceed. Oh, that's some very informative stuff. Again, if you think you can beat me, Share your experience with us on Instagram at hashtag topofyourgame. 
It's important to exercise and we strongly encourage it. If uh, you want to take on a vigorous exercise challenge, please make sure that you don't get any giddiness, palpitations or chest discomfort during your exercise. If you do, please go and see a doctor and make sure that you get the basic cardiac test to rule out anything important. If all clear, very well done, all the best, go for it. I hope you have enjoyed the challenges for the past month. Keep in mind, this is only the beginning to a healthier life. Keep working at it, and the results will show eventually. Until then,